With what appears to be paranormal activity raging all around us, we attempt to calm things down by conducting a seance in the kitchen. We are hoping to make contact with the spirit of a soldier who is said to protect this house and those who reside within it. You're listening to us, aren't you? Come towards us now. Come and join in. Please, can you move the table or make a noise? We're here because we wish to talk to you to communicate with you. What's happened? We're here because we wish to talk to you to communicate with you. Did you hear that? To communicate with you. What's Please, sir, if you're here, I know you are. Please, move the table or make a noise. Let us know that you're with us now. The table's shifting, yes. Please move the table some more. Do you know why we're here, sir? Yes. Protect me whilst I'm in this house. If you will protect me, please can you leave the table as a sign that you will? For I need to trust you. Can I trust you? I trust you. I need you to move. I need you to move the table. Good man. So you will protect me. Looks that way. That's what he's saying. I want to know your name so that I can remember you always as the kind gentleman, the kind soldier who protected me and my friends. Please don't buy your name. Charlie? 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 Please move the table as a sign of yes if your name is Charlie. Ah! Hello, Charlie. Hello, Charlie. Well, how old are you, Charlie? Are you young? Are you old? How old are you? Wish we could see you. Are you only 21, oh. Charlie? Only 21. How did he die? Do you know? Can you see how he died, Brian? In back. Explosion. Explosion. Great explosion. Is it black powder? What's it awesome? Smell. The smell. Acrid. And dead. But here he returns to stand. Forever. Over the decades. Over the centuries. Oh, you're actually? Yeah, it's really cold. Alright, Stu. Looks like something's gone up the back of his spine. Oh. Mm. Well, he's here in the house. Yeah. We've got plenty of time yeah. to try and talk to him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Charlie. 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 Thank you. The moving of the kitchen table and Brian believing we are in the presence of a spirit named Charlie leave us in no doubt that Conference House is indeed plagued by unexplainable events. What further shocks lie in store for us as we continue to investigate this most haunted of houses? What? Stairs, 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 something like that. Is anyone in here? Hello? What's that? a team are in the state of New York investigating Staten Island's conference house. We have been plagued by a plethora of paranormal activity with the spirits of a soldier named Charlie and a little girl making their presence felt. Hoping to find undisputable evidence of these two spirits, we focus our investigation. With the rest of the team waiting outside, Carl and Stuart re-enter the house by the bottom of the stairs. Will they find undisputable evidence of these spirits? There's no one else I know with that, so... Let's get me bearings in here or something, mate. What was that then, Carl? What was that then, Carl? You heard that. What the f*** was that? I don't know. Hello? What? The stairs, the stairs, the stairs, the stairs. No, down the bottom, the bottom, the bottom. I'm going to look up. 
What's that? That's the ball. Earlier, we put that ball up, up the top there and said to the little girl, can you move it? Now, that didn't even bounce down the stairs, did it? Is there any way that could have rolled down on its own? Stu, no, it was in... The last time we saw it, it was in the far corner. That means it's poltergeist then, doesn't it? Am I right in saying that? Yeah, definitely, 100%. Right, we're going to leave that there, yeah? Just leave it there. Right, OK. Leave that there. Gotcha. This is quite even, this surface, isn't it? Well, this is. That's, I, don't, I don't understand that. What I'm saying is, no one could have moved it in this room. Right, OK. Is it? Well, no. It's not as though the floors are all uneven. I mean, they're all moves quite. Up here. You'd, hear, you'd hear them. Yeah. Oh, what? What are you looking at? No way, no way, Cal. No, no way. Come on. Right. Could anyone have got up those stairs and put that there? Just stay there. No, no, because we would have heard them. Is it two? Just, just, just stand with us. I can't see a bloody thing here. Two. That would explain a lot. I'm just. There's nothing there, Cal. Absolutely nothing there. Oh. I'm not. Why is this happening? Fantastic, this is brilliant, this. Is this? One everyone else is here. Thank you for that. Is there a name, Cal? Uh, oh, f that. Did you hear that? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it was like. And the only thing I can do is like, like my little one, when she's, when she's excited, she just like, sort of skips. Yeah. It's like that. Would you say it was near that fireplace? Definitely. Because that's where I'm pan that's where I'm locked on now. Yeah. Fantastic. Sweetheart. Okay. Sweetie. If you're here, please show us yourself. Move something else for us if you can. <laughs> Wait, Cal, it is me. I've got it. 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 What's he doing? It's just rocking back and forth. Oh, have a Cal, have a look. Have a look. Have a look. Come here. Look. Yeah, just look. Right, the ball stopped moving now. Mate, just just stay where you are, sir. I'm just gonna. Is anyone in here? Hello. Cal, where did that whistle come from then? Hello? If you're here, could you please do something? Can you lay on the bed for us? Can you make an imprint? <laughs> what the f Right. Well, I've, got, I've, got the, I've got it here, Cal. I've just caught the tail end of that. Make an imprint. <laughs> what the f what the f Well, we've got it. We've actually got it on camera moving for the second time. What? <laughs> Buoyed by the phenomena of the bouncing ball, we continue to investigate this historical house until just before the break of day. However, what does parapsychologist Dr. Kieran O'Keefe think are tonight's most notable events? Although most haunted were investigating an American location, by far the most interesting phenomena actually had a British connection. At various points, Yvette was singing Rule Britannia and seemed to get a response from the alleged spirit. La, 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 now, you. Oh, now it's not controlled enough for, for us to say whether or not it was paranormal. However, it did impress various members of the crew. Leslie, at one point, felt as though uh, somebody was clasping or grasping her arm. She felt like kind of, kind of a cold hand grasping her arm. This is the sort of thing that can happen in other situations, in other locations. 
So for example, due to a change in posture or even a drop in temperature, you can get this impression or a physiological impression that somebody's touching you or grasping you. But here, in this allegedly haunted location, Leslie immediately attributed to a paranormal source, i.e. a spirit grabbing her. What are you looking at? When Carl and Stuart re-entered the house to conduct a vigil, they found that the ball that they had previously left upstairs was now downstairs. Stuart also captured the bouncing movement of the ball. Parapsychologists and skeptics would argue, however, that we don't have enough footage here to make a convincing argument for anything paranormal, because we don't have footage of the start of the movement of the ball and at the end. At some point, a split vigil was being conducted. Carl was downstairs and reported the chandelier moving. Now, this is interesting. The, the movement is caught on video, but actually we don't have the start of the movement, so we can't tell if it had been knocked by somebody. All in all, the most haunted investigation of Conference House on Staten Island was an interesting one. I'm not sure if we got any significant paranormal evidence. However, I did like the use of Rule Britannia in an attempt to get a response. The most haunted investigation into Conference House has been an intriguing experience. Once again, unexplainable events of a paranormal nature have transpired throughout the night. But have we proved beyond doubt that the spirit of the little girl or the ghost of Charlie were the energy behind the moving ball? That's up to you to decide. Until next time, sleep tight.